Hey, so here we are, our, uh, really our first day of language classes here in, in Tlake Pake. It's our, uh, it's our third day here, and uh, after class today, you know, we decided to uh, walk into uh, the central area of Tlake Pake, and boy, I think were we surprised, you know, not with, uh, with all of the shops, all the artisans, and just the, uh, the sheer beauty and all the things to do. It's going to take us weeks to explore and see everything we want to see here in Tlake Pake. Tlaki Pake is located in Mexico's Central Highlands and is a suburb of Guadalajara, Mexico's second largest city. It had a 2010 census population of just under 600,000, which was just about the same size as Denver at that time. It is the third largest municipality of Mexico's state of Jalisco. Tlaki Pake is located at an elevation of 5,200 feet. Again, just about the same as Denver, so we felt at home. The climate is mild, generally warm, and temperate with an average temperature of a pleasant 69 and a half degrees. That's a beautiful courtyard here. Interestingly manicured trees. Looks like another church, and we're walking into what looks like the uh, the centro. Because all well, these centros seem to have some little gazebo in the middle of them. We're here pretty early. It's uh, not even 8:30 yet, so looks like a lot of a lot of people aren't uh, up and about. But man, it's just beautiful here. And we're well within walking distance of our apartment. 10 minutes maybe. We weren't even uh, hustling today. We knew we had plenty of time. Sorry about the sun. Well, I know where I'm going to hang out for my breaks or come for my after class lunch right here. It's so beautiful, so relaxing. A little worried when we uh, first rented this apartment that we were going to be out in the middle of nowhere but it seems that, that we're actually very very close to very close to the centro very close to some of the action here if there is any action but Wow, can't wait to uh, come back and explore some more. Uh, here we are at one end of the, uh, the walking plaza of Flake Pake. This is the loud end of all the bars. But uh, once we get past about these three or four establishments, it gets quieter, it becomes more artisan-like. Yeah. Well, I was actually gonna turn around here So it looks like they don't want any drunks in this uh, in this bar here. They'll make you drunk, but if you're drunk beforehand, don't stop by. Look, could be the place I come to get my hair cut pretty soon. Uh, maybe not. So I go wild for a little longer. Lots of art, lots of art here. I've seen some bronze sculptures here by an artist we previously saw in Puerto Vallarta. Amigo! 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 
just uh, so many, uh, so many shops with so many unique items. So beautifully done here. And then let's go in here. Let's see some. Walk in there, but that's a. Uh, Not yet. Hi. Oh, yeah. Calle Independencia. Some beautiful handmade bracelets, necklaces, shoes. some of the sculptures we've previously seen from, from this artist in Puerto Vallarta. And another one. And looks like this is a shop of his art. One of our favorite Jalisco artistas. We'll definitely We'll definitely be back here, go through there, and... And here is the uh, Regional Museum of Ceramics. The shop here has nothing but uh, things from indigenous artists throughout Mexico. I'll take you on a tour of this place some other time. And we have a little leather, but we know where to get leather, which is back in Leon. Jalisco, Jalisco, the Mexican state that we're in, is home to tequila. And of course, there are multiple tequila stores just for tequila. Hola. Okay. Gracias. Uh oh. <laughs> we tried. We tried not to come in, but now that we're in, it's bad news. Yeah. Shapes, sizes, and flavors. Mm. That's what I need, though. I need some tequila glasses here. Okay. 
It's a pretty darn fancy tequila store here. Ah, so happy, so happy we chose this as our first, well, actually again, it turns out to be second, so happy we, ch we chose this as our first place to, uh, to land in Mexico, and the fact that we're going to be here for over three months, we're really going to get to explore Tlaque Paque and Guadalajara and, and some of the surrounding areas. Well, we probably should have gone home for lunch today, but instead found this sweet little cantina with a little courtyard where everyone eats. on the wall. A skeleton head in the middle. And uh, super happy with super happy with the food. Super inexpensive food. Super inexpensive food. Even better. That's always the best. <laughs> Can't beat that. When it's cheap and great. And in a wonderful, wonderful location. Sort of outside here in this open air little patio. So we're just walking down the street, and uh, there's an entryway into a courtyard, and uh, people there beckoned us to come in because they had uh, many antique and old things. So I went to that courtyard and uh, back into the back and they were absolutely right. There are many, many antiques and old things, most of them dusty here, but uh, they are very, very unique. We got some uh, chandeliers, got some more over here, furnish your house with, got some big old wooden chairs. Like, how old are these things? You just don't know. Where'd they come from? Who commissioned them? This stuff come out of churches? There's some back rooms here. Don't they have a cleaning person? <laughs> don't they have a cleaning person? Well, <laughs> of course they Everything don't. has a hundred years worth of dust on it. Everything might be uh, several hundred years old. It's pretty, uh, <laughs> it's a very interesting place. <laughs> you know, it's like, Who's gonna come? Stuff too. A lot of broken stuff. That's true. That's true. And you come in here and find a statue for your house. Who knows where that thing's been? Like the one outside, the wizard. Yeah, we're gonna go back. Show them that. I'm sure they're gonna show them the wizard and the, the lions. Pots and pans. Don't get the lion here. So if you're Got something old? Give these guys a call. <laughs> They'll take it off your hands. It'll sit here for a couple hundred years. This guy here's not so dusty. He's obviously pretty new. <laughs> He's new. He's new. He's probably only a hundred years old. <laughs> you want some old gates? Ah, otro, huh? Muy, yes. Ah, ah. Torres, uh, what did he say? He said that they can fix things. Oh, they can fix things. And also, they have certified. Oh, our, our, our restorationists. Ah, oh, there's another wizard here. It's a really interesting place. Yeah. 
muchos años comerciando. Ya vio el. Sí, sí. Mago para mí. ¿Eh? Precioso. Muy buena pieza. So our first day of exploring in Talkie Pocky was super fun. We were pleasantly surprised with the variety and number of different places we would have the opportunity to get to know during the upcoming months. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we put out new videos. Hasta luego!